Hey, what's up guys? Today I thought we'd talk about these little chips here. These are commonly known as the uh, 4056, but actually has a lot more than that on there. What it is basically is a LiPo charging and protection car, uh, PC board. See, it has three separate chips. This is the 4056E, which is the LiPo charger. And this one is the 8205A, which is a LiPo protection IC. And this is the DW01A, which is a, also a single cell LiPo protection IC. And these boards are incredibly cheap. They're less than a buck a piece on eBay. You usually buy them in uh, groups of five or ten, like I said, for like 99 cents a piece. They are fantastic, and they work as input and output. So I'll go over the connections here real quick. It's got a micro USB input for charging, and you can also charge it by soldering a couple of wires to those through holes there, and it'll take up to a 10 volts input. Now on the output side, you see we have battery plus and battery minus on the inside, and then we have our output to whatever we're powering, output plus and output minus. Excellent little chip. That's about an inch and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. Very thin circuit board. Yeah, nothing much going on here. Well, I mean, actually a lot going on here, but I mean, nothing much size-wise. You can fit this into just about any project. So I'm going to whip up a little um, one cell external power source here and uh, we'll put it together with something and I'll be right back. Through the magic, magic of editing, you guys got to see me put this together here. And what this is, is a single cell 18650 battery holder. And I've soldered uh, the battery wires to the inside here and my output wires to the outside. And I simply hot glued it to this single cell LiPo holder. So what we can do is we can have our little project here. This is just a uh, DS, what is it, 3235 real-time clock and a uh, 1.3 inch SPI OLED with a Nano. It's just running a clock basically, just as a demonstration. So what I can do here is I will plug our little battery board in just like that and I've got one of these Rexton 18650s from Amazon and I'm going to plug it in making sure I have the polarity correct and there you see everything powers up The clock is running. Everything is beautiful. And the nice thing about having that little uh, charger protection, output protection board on there is you will never run your LiPo down below the safe level because it will get kicked off before then. And if you need to charge it, you just plug a micro USB into that port and you're good to go. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, share it, feel free to comment. And hey, tomorrow is March 1st. That means 17 days left to subscribe before we have the Arduino Zero giveaway on March 17th. That's it. See you next time.